so today I am back doing a review for you and I'm very excited about this review because um, my last review was a very positive review and this one not so positive so this is my first negative review um, I don't know why I would be excited for something like that but I am um, I don't know if you can tell my voice is still a little scratchy from being sick but please try to ignore that um, it is summer. I'm so excited. I'm wearing a tank top today. I love this tank top. I don't remember where I got it, but I want to say Forever 21. But besides the point, there's a zipper on the back. Do you see the zipper on? Yeah, my pants totally don't match my shirt. So if my pants were just showing, yeah, I wasn't wearing this shirt earlier, but then I got high and then I didn't change my pants. So yeah. But anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the Elf Regular and Waterproof Mascara Duo, and it looks like this. And there's a person outside. Okay, that's awkward. I'm not talking to my camera. It's not happening. Okay. Anyways, this is the, as I said, the e.l.f. Regular and Waterproof Mascara Duo. This side is waterproof and this side is regular. Um, now I can well show you the wands. This is how much product you get. And that's what the wand looks like. Um, I believe this was, I want to say a dollar. I got mine at Target, so I, I think it was a dollar. And this is the, the first one I just showed you is the um, regular side, and this is the waterproof side. Now, as you can see by the wands already, it's very, very clumpy. And um, if you look at my lashes, I have a little bit of mascara on this eye, not from this. And this eye is this. Do you see how clumpy my lashes are? That is this. And, okay, I use the regular on this eye. And I mean, you get a lot of product out when you use the regular, and um, but like with the waterproof, you don't really get anything out. Like, I mean, you get stuff, but I mean, look how much, ew, like that's gross. I'm glad I only paid a dollar for this because if I had spent more, I'd be very disappointed. Um, yeah, that it, it's not a good product. I would not suggest this. Um, I'm going to be doing a demo for you guys here in a second, so I'm going to be showing you that. So as I had said, this eye does have a little bit of mascara on it, but not much because it has rubbed off. Um, I'm going to be using the regular side first on my top lashes, and then I'll show you the waterproof on my bottom. Um, there's less clump on this one than the waterproof one, so it's not as bad. If I was going to use this... Uh, ooh, I just got it on my eyelid. <laughs> Smooth. If I was going to use this, it would not be for like every day. Oh god, I just made it worse. It would not be for like every day. Like this is my regular holy grail mascara. This would be something that I carry in my purse. Not even in my purse, like at the pool or something. To just touch up. So you can see just after a few swipes how clumpy it is and how like how it's clumping all my lashes together and I can feel like I can feel all my lashes clump together and normally I don't mind a little clump like I think a little clump sometimes looks okay obviously not like spider lashes but you know like a little clump is fine this is like whole groups just like clump together so I'm gonna stop putting that on because it's just making it worse um now trick if you I don't know if you have this mascara and you want to try and use it you can try and like brush them out a little bit. The toothbrush. Or a toothpick. I know my friend, she uses a toothpick. Just kind of brush them out a little bit. Try and get them declumped, and that makes it a little better. I mean, I think it looks a little better now. Now, to show you the waterproof, again, I will show you the wand. This is what the wand looks like when you take it out of the tube. It's pretty nasty. So, um,. I'm going to try and wipe off as much excess as possible, but, yeah. As you can see, not much is happening. So, and just, there's so much clump on there that it's pretty much impossible to use. So, I always end up going back to the water, the, I um, mean, the regular side. So, if you're going to buy this, at least if you're like me, you'll probably only end up using the regular side which the whole reason I bought it was for the waterproof side so yeah that is my review I hope you guys enjoy it and benefit from it so you 
don't have to experience what I have and um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Bye.